So welcome back to the show, everyone. Today I'm gonna make up some more Algerian cuisine. Uh, what's on the menu today is Algerian boric. Boric, how it's done in Algeria. Because I know it's a very common thing to eat all over the world. Many different countries eat boric, but I'm gonna focus on how it's done over there. So yeah, it's very popular in Algeria. They eat it all the time, I think, especially around Ramadan. And it's typically served with a bowl of soup like the Shobra Frick that I just made, this one. So imagine that bowl of soup with a side of Bork. Anyway, it's like a crispy pastry with like a filling, like a meat filling or a potato filling. I'm gonna go with meat today. Here is the dilio though. I'm already behind because I picked up the wrong pastry dough. This is phyllo pastry dough and this isn't correct. I need brick pastry, which is much thinner than phyllo. And it's like, you can almost see through it. And uh, it's like similar to spring roll pastry dough. I don't have any of that, but I have all the ingredients to make it. So I'm just gonna figure out how to do that before I move on to the boric. Yeah, so I got half a cup of flour, half a cup of semolina flour, and a cup of warm water. I'll need a pinch of salt. Gonna need a bowl. Thank you. Mix that together, then add in a warm cup of water. I'm hoping that instead of just getting out the big blender, I can just... So I'm gonna add in two teaspoons, I forgot, two teaspoons of oil, too. Smooth. All right, so all I can use for this is a non-stick pan. This is the biggest one I have, so it's gonna have to do medium heat. So dip the pastry brush in the mix here, and uh, here we go. Brush a little thin layer of batter onto the pan, very thin. Leave that for two minutes on that side. That's what I'm gonna do. Between a minute and two minutes, I think. I saw a video of how to do this, and I guess I thought I could pull it off, but I have no idea how to get this off the pan. So I'm just gonna let it cook for a bit, and hopefully, it, like, I can grab it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Hot! Not bad. First attempt, I can do better, I can do better. So I gotta brush a very thin layer of dough onto the base of this pan. Just any of the little holes in there, is gonna splot them. I'm gonna just separate a bit around the edges because this thing is super hot when I try to pick it up. So, oh, it's gonna tear. Damn it. one part of this pan that doesn't have its non-stick anymore, so it just keeps sticking in this one location. It's driving me nuts. This might be the first perfect one. Oh, that is magnificent. Success. Roughly chopped up onion. Bunch of chopped up parsley. 250 grams of ground beef. All right, so I'm moving on to the beef filling. Back to the stove. Frying pan, same old frying pan, I just washed it out. Need medium heat. Add in a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Add the onion. Sweat these onions out. All right, get, get these onions to turn some color. So in goes ground beef. Gonna break that all up. A bunch of chopped up parsley here, a bunch of a bunch. And I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a handful. Use your judgment. Yeah, that's good. Teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I need a teaspoon, is a teaspoon? Around a teaspoon of black pepper. You're gonna add in a little salt, one egg. Stir it all together until that meat is cooked through. Oh. Pastry's done, filling is done. I'm ready to assemble. I've been keeping these things fresh underneath this towel. And ooh, they are kind of nice. Look how thin this one is. Although I don't think it's gonna be able to hold filling. You know, I think that looks pretty nice. You can kind of see through it. Maybe it could be a little thinner, but whatever. It's my first time. I got better at these the more I did them. How about that? I think these will be able to hold my filling, or at least some of them will be able to. So I got the pastry. I got the filling and, oh, this is essential as well. Laughing cow cheese. It's like spreadable cheese. Some recipes had the cheese melted in um, while it was on the stove. I could have done that, but I saw another interesting approach was just to break up pieces and put it on top of the filling while they're rolling up the boric. So I'm gonna do that. Take a couple tablespoons of the filling. 
And then the cheese, break it up like pieces on top. Oh, hell yeah. And then I gotta roll this up like a cigar. Gentle, Jamie, gentle. And if you've never rolled a cigar, don't worry about it, neither have I. On the lower part of the pastry, that's where I put the filling. Some pieces of the cheese on top. As you can see, these things are very fragile. As tight as I can make it. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, 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 no. Some of these weren't as well made, so they fell apart while I was rolling them up. Case in point, like that. It's okay though, because I have four of them and I'm happy with my four. So I'm back at the stove for the third time. So I got deep fry. I gotta use my cast iron skillet and I filled this up about an inch. Let's get the heat going on that mofo to around what? I don't know, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. I just dunk in the wooden handle of my spatula and as long as bubbles start to form around it, I know I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm just gonna give it a try. So this is by far the ugliest one I made because you can see it's split out there and it's nothing I can do about that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens. At the bare minimum, I have three nice ones. I'm gonna do a couple minutes per side, but honestly, all I'm doing is looking for the golden brown like crispiness on the outside. When that happens, I know I'm good. Lemon slices on the plate. Bring these bad boys over here. I'm just gonna do the classic stack, like that. Order up! So I'm gonna squeeze the lemon on top, right? Just a little? All right, let's see what this is all about. Ooh, okay. Mmm, mmm, that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Food doesn't get much better than this, honestly. <laughs> mm. It's like the perfect crunchiness on the outside and the filling. My God, the filling was, I gotta give a special shout out to that beef filling. I don't know, it's the simple ingredients I added into that dish, but when you add cinnamon, instantly I can just go North African cooking or Middle Eastern cooking, but in North America, I'm not too familiar with adding cinnamon in with savory dishes. So it's a relatively new taste for me. And it's something that the more I have, the more I enjoy. So I'm just like head over heels in love with this Borak. What would be heaven in a bite would be having that bowl of soup I made the Shilber Frick and you just dunk that in, take a bite out of that, have some soup. Of course it's different to be in Algeria and experience this food. But for me right now, this is the closest I'm gonna get. And to have this in my own kitchen, this type of cooking, four great dishes in a row from Algeria. Four for four. I'm loving this food. All I wanna do is clap and dance. I'm not gonna dance, but I'll clap. That's all I got today, everyone. If you wanna check out my Patreon for extra content, including live streams, the link should be right there. I'll see you all very soon. Au revoir.